Are you a midlife woman who feels like she's lost touch with her passions and her interests and you're constantly juggling multiple hats for everybody else? I'm Jin Churchill and I help midlife women regain their confidence from the outside in and the inside out so they look and feel amazing and can live their best life. Just like you, I'm a busy woman navigating modern day life as a corporate worker, a devoted wife and dog mom, an entrepreneur, and a volunteer for two amazing organisations, I understand firsthand how difficult it can be to juggle all of those hats. I also understand that in the midst of all of that, it's so difficult to carve time out for yourself and the guilt that goes with it when you try it, right? Now I'm in my 50s, I have to acknowledge that I can't do all of it like I used to think I could. And that's okay, because I've learned the art of prioritising I've learned how to say yes to the things that are important to me, like my entrepreneurship, to say no to the things that I don't want in my life and everything else in between. And good mindset and self-care is absolutely vital to creating that life balance. By the way, I release a new mindset video every week. So if you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button down below and you'll get notified every time there's a new one. So as midlife women, I'm sure you hear me when I say we're constantly juggling other commitments, family life, partner life, career, parents, pets. If you've lost sight of your own passions and interests in the middle of all of that, trust me, you're not on your own. There are many midlife women out there who are feeling lost. However, it's absolutely vital to carve out time for what truly lights us up. In this blog, I'm giving you some practical strategies to how you can do that very thing. So number one is to remember what those passions and interests are. That might sound crazy, but when I started my entrepreneurship life over again for the third or the fourth time, I kept coming back to different things that I'd started previously and had forgotten about. And for me, helping other women to achieve things is my absolute jam. And it, somehow that got lost along the way. So for this definite first step is to take some time out and actually remember what those passions are. Now it might be a hobby like gardening, it might be creating a new dream life, it might be anything in between, it doesn't matter. Just take the time and remember what they are. The second thing is, is to start small. If you've been disconnected from these passions and interests for a while, it might be overwhelming if you suddenly try and go all in. The trick here is to start small and build momentum, carve small amounts of time out and build on those over some time. Whether that is kicking off a new side hustle or doing the gardening or reading a book, always start small. Number three is to seek connections, network with like-minded people, seek out groups who've got the similar interest to you. Maybe that's online, maybe that's in person. It's going to depend what your passion or interest is, right? And in these connections, it's really important to give as much as you get. So join the groups and gain insights from other people, but share your successes share what hasn't worked as well because we all learn from those mistakes right and the fourth and final step that i'm going to give you today is to carve out that time recognize that finding those pockets of time is not a luxury but it's absolutely essential part of your self-care now i'm going to share with you i learned this the hard way i used to be everybody's busy for so to make life easier for you sharing with you a mini module for one of my courses which is all about how I found out about time management. So I manage time with what I call vacuum hours and this is a mini presentation that's going to walk you through exactly how to achieve them and how to max out so you're getting the absolute most from the least amount of time and you'll never feel all that overwhelm again. It doesn't matter if you've got two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes or an hour to go at a time. This works for everybody, whatever your passion and interest, whatever amount of time you've got, and I even teach you the toilet technique. Rediscovering passions and interests might be a scary prospect, and actually finding time that you're going to give to yourself might feel riddled with doubt, actually, because you're just not used to doing it. But how could not doing something that brings you joy be good for anybody, good for you or good for those people around you. So it's absolutely vital that you start to rediscover these things. So for you and for everybody else around you, remember you deserve it. Start small, persevere, 
use my vacuum hours techniques and please let me know how you get on. I love to hear all of your feedback and of course if you've got any questions do drop them down below with a little thumbs up as well if you don't mind. I always appreciate it because it helps other people to find my stuff as well and in the meantime I'm wishing you a fantastic week. <laughs>